Hey guys, welcome to Code and Box Automation Lab. This is Sherful. In this lecture, we're going to learn shift left and shift right testing strategies. Like what is shift left, shift right testing, the advantages, the disadvantages, and also which one would be the you know the best approach to follow. So with the rise of DevOps movement, there is an increased focus on delivery automated continuous improvement continuous integration or CI or and continuous delivery or CD at the core software development discipline that's a part of an agile software development lifecycle nowadays. The idea is to release fully tested and stable build early and as often as possible. Automation especially automated testing is a crucial component for this process. So in other words, you can say continuous testing is the core component for CI CD to establishing the CI CD process. So, introducing testing early, or you can say shift left of the development process, started with the unit test and completed with the functional and integration test. So, this is the you know fundamental for making CI CD happen, but that may not be enough while shift left testing happens during the development shift right test shift right test also can happen in post development scenarios based on production data like you know system testing or user acceptance testing so let's see the difference between these two shift left and shift right testing you know strategies you know activities and so on so shift left testing so shift left testing, if you consider the what is the activities that really happen during the shift left testing, so it's the discussion of requirement, either like typical requirement like a BRD or the agile so user you know user stories, bugs or and any other artifact that implements changes or fix behavior of the product writing of unit tests at the same time the issues are being implemented by the developers writing functional integration test by the developer or the you know specific QA members who's responsible for doing that kind of test this can be done right after the issues like stories is clear clarified and included the sprint to the sprint backlog the test execution, which happens as soon as possible during the sprint in case of a scrum, this execution is hopefully automated and unit tests run often upon code commits or merges. Other types of tests like you know non UI or you can say performance testing or system or end-to-end -end testing run can also run you know after they implemented. So this is the nutshell or overall activities really happen, you know, following the shift left testing approach. So what is the benefits exactly? Benefits, advantages, and disadvantages by following the shift left testing. So pro and cons, like you can say, the mostly you can say the benefits. It's more benefits compared to uh, disadvantages, especially in Azal. So here is the few highlights is the highlight points about the benefits and there is a couple of you know disadvantages I found so so uh, the benefits are better and clear requirements or stories the leads to the development of testable features increase testability bugs detected earlier reduce fixing costs since bug detected earlier so definitely it will reduce the fixing cost which is saves time and money prevents bug at the end of development lifecycle or release the moment introduce embedded quality from the starting from the you know from the uh, uh, even when it's a uh, requirement is started reduce gaps between the developer and testing the disadvantages I have found the lack of UI or into invalidation which is the part of you know part of the uh, shift right testing because you know in this shift lefting it's more it's early testing so you know and uh, UI or into validation happen usually after the development done so this is one of the you can say lack some or less emphasize uh, following the shift left testing misses real feedback 
you know coming from the real user on real use user scenarios since you know the to get the real feedback your deployment have to be done and then probably you can you know get the, it can go to the UAT testing or uh, end user can do some sort of testing so you know you are missing the real feedback following the shift left because shift left is early testing which is started from the beginning of uh, you know from the uh, requirement collecting from the requirement and then you know during the coding like it's uh, the UNE test is uh, also started that time so that's why you know it's over here post development testing is less emphasized which is you know you're missing the real feedbacks from the uh, from the incline so let's see what is shift left testing activities the focus of shift uh, sorry shift right testing activities the focus of shift right testing is to get feedback from real user after development is done it's like extending and continuing to continuing testing after the release has occurred so to achieve this techniques such as like a uh, AB testing canary releases or blue green developments are used to obtain feedback from end user about the delivered features since development is done all the product features have been integrated into in testing including UI testing some performance testing can be done properly right so following the shift right testing those are the main activities that happen so what's the pro and cons or like a, you know advantages disadvantages so here is the pros use the direct feedback from the user allows automated testing at the at the UI level with end-to-end -end following you know, uh, workflow testing which is a system testing you can say features are complete more integrated and more stable allows real performance stability and security testing debug bugs in control scenarios test ideas and UI changes with a B testing and enables blue green uh, you know deploy uh, deployment and release practices what's the disadvantages more costly bug fixing because you know you are you are in following the shift right testing you are giving more emphasis all of the UI level testing into in -end testing which is happen after the deployment after the development is done so if you find any bug after the development is bug definitely it will cost you more time you know it will the you will file a bug it will go back to the you know the uh, uh, developer and they will work on this and then you have to retest to make sure it's not only fix that specific bug but also you have to ensure that it didn't break the other part of the system so it will it is a time consuming process so it is it means it is more costly fixing a bug falling shift right testing and especially you know in agile you know you are really tied with your with your time because you have a very very competitive you know release uh, 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 cadence you have to follow in Azad so then which testing strategy should we follow in Azad teams would do best with shift left testing for clearing specification smoother implementation earlier testing and reduce cost however shift right testing adds other benefits such as the ability ability to incorporate users and system feedbacks based on real user scenarios as per test pyramid we know it like you can focus or you can put more effort on unit test at the ground level but that doesn't mean that you cannot imply you know other kinds of tests like integration or into in test the same is true for shift left and shift right testing you may invest more in requirement review unit test but that does not imply or exempt you from doing integration testing or other testing therefore we see the both approaches you know this approach is not as exclusive or contradictory but complementary okay so th it's a both have the different kind of benefits it depends on your 
you know uh, development process you know what is the development phase or cycle you are following in your application in your company you know and what kind of test you are uh, you are emphasizing to do or suit it suit more with your application or development process so we don't see any contradictory with each other but complementary okay so that's all for today thanks a lot have a good one bye bye